Hi water signs, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your October weekly messages. Happy October! Halloween is here, finally, darling. Okay, so I'm going to do Cancer, then Scorpio, and then Pisces. Okay, I didn't have any time to do um, the individuals because I got backed up, but I will be doing them here. So, um, yeah, all right. So for Cancer, we have the lion okay i'm using different decks every single card is from different oracles and tarot so we have the lion it says harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently Ooh, taking the bull by its horns have no fear fearless right here right there right mm. This is you charging ahead with what you want, your dreams, your desires, having no fear and just fucking going for it. You have the strength and the energy of a lion. You could have Leo in your chart too. And you just taking charge. You see that? Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Boom. Then we have divine wisdom. You could be studying something or learning something, researching something that's giving you some type of wisdom that you are holding dear to your, you know, acknowledgement. So I feel like you will be studying something that could be used towards a career change or a future or something that you've just been really looking into that you've been um, wanting to start. Maybe something new or looking into starting school or, or starting your own business. It could be many things. Then we have, oh, speaking of that, then we have partnerships and alliances. You see that? This is shaking hands with someone. This is coming together, maybe signing contracts. Um, this could be you um, partnering up with people for business, uh, for school. It could be anything. So this is, this is basically what I was just saying right now about studying something. You see that? You could be, some of you can be into real estate or you can be into, it could be anything. That's what I'm seeing right now though. Uh, partnerships and alliance, okay? So then we have the three or, uh, tarot cards that we pulled here that I pulled is the magician. One of them is the magician. You have all the tools that you need to, to manifest whatever you want. You can create your own life. You can tweak it up. You can change it. You can upgrade it. You can downgrade it. You can put those favorite ingredients that you want, spice it up however you want because you are the damn magician. You are in control of your life and how it goes, who's in it and who goes. Okay, you have that power. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is pretty much you... Um, Reaping what you sow, okay? This is like we reap what you sow. Uh, feeling comfortable how things are right now. Very stable. You see all those little pumpkins growing. I feel like you are working hard to, to save money for something. Maybe for saving money to partner up or go back to school or whatever it is that you are charging ahead for. You see that? Love it. Um, then we have the Eight of Bats, which is the Eight of Swords. Um, you could get it in your head a little bit because, you know, maybe fear starts to kick in, but it's telling you not to. If you feel a little trapped within yourself or your thoughts or you felt like you you can't move forward because of the way you think or what, it could be anything. This is just telling you it's all mental. You can get out of that. Just change the way you think. Meditate a little bit or do something that, you know, spend some time to yourself or, or quiet time so that you can clear your mind because it can, could mean that you have too many things stuck within your mind or you're not able to think clearly, okay? The oracle card that we pulled here, that I pulled here, was Black Cat. This is fortune meets opportunity. Wow. Speaking about, you know, divine... Um, wisdom partnerships the magician this is all adding up right so i feel like with the fortune meets opportunity uh, there's things going to be coming towards you okay there's going to be lots of ideas there's going to be you're going to have that fiery energy where you're just going to want to do something you're going to want to travel you're just going to want to 
spend your money because you're like, you know what, YOLO, uh, you only live once. You psych, you live every day. Okay, I don't like that saying anyways. <laughs> no, but yeah, you are definitely going to be up against an opportunity that's going to be amazing. So do not let it pass you by. Okay, keep your eye on the prize. All right, Scorpio, what we have here is uh, the world. The world card came out for you. It says, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Don't be too closed off. Don't be closed off to anything. Be open and you never know what might just trigger you in a good way. Then we have uh, flexibility. Are you being flexible with your time, your energy, your money? Are you meditating? Are you being flexible within yourself? Are you balancing out your emotional, your mental, uh, your physical, whatever it is, be very, very flexible with your time and energy, okay? Then um, we also have mental conflict. Try not to get too stressed out about things. I know you can, um, sometimes people can get a little negative. It's, it's healthy to be negative sometimes, but not to a point where, you know, there's an imbalance because that could create havoc and that could create feeling really stuck and stressful in your mind where you just want to rip your head off <laughs> so you could be going through some um, mental conflict that there's going stuff going on within your mind that you're not speaking about or telling people about and it's like really starting to mess with you your attitude and your aura so that's why it's telling you to be very flexible with how you think and do things okay and how you see things be open-minded don't be too closed off or anything like that um, the tarot cards that we have here are, um, we have the moon, the three of swords, and the knight of bats. So with the moon here, okay, and the three of swords, I feel like there could be something that you're going through. Maybe that's why we have mental conflict here. You could be going through some kind of loss, some kind of heartache. Maybe there was a separation or you lost something or someone and you could be mourning or going through some type of heartache and you're, you're healing right now or whatever it could mean. Definitely the moon, it, it represents emotions in the subconscious mind. So there could be something that's bothering you and maybe someone comes along and they hold the key to unlock that. The, the answer to the questions you that you have in regards to whatever it is that you feel empty or lost or hurt towards. So um, be open to that, to receiving that message, because that could just be the answer that you've been seeking to get you out of that mental conflict or emotional conflict that you're having as well. Um, and with the Knight of Bats here, which is the Knight of Swords, you could have a message coming in. Someone could be coming in to communicate. Like I said, and oh, I didn't even see that. With the Knight of Bats, and you see how this bird here, that the bird represents air, the, the swords represent air. So like I said, this air sign, it could have been Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or just someone coming towards you with a message, with the key, it could lock something or open something up, okay? So uh, the Oracle card that, we, that I got for you is the Invisibility card. This is uh, the authenticity, okay? Being true to who, you're, to who you are, being honest with yourself and others. Are you looking in the mirror? Are you looking with it? Are you happy with the way things are? Are you happy with yourself? Are you walking the path of your true authenticity? Or are you just doing things to get by because other people think it's good for you or because, you know, society is doing it? But really, you're not really happy with it. you got to really look at things like that. Always be true to yourself and honest uh, about who you are and what you want to do. Okay? Um, Pisces, we have the goals card. Ooh la la. It says, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So there is something definitely that you're working towards. I feel like it's not completed yet, but you're almost there. Then we have the clarity card. So you're, you will be getting clarity about what you need or what you're missing to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, okay? This could be communication or it could be ideas that's going to be coming towards you, okay? Then we have hope. Yeah, so you will be having clarity about something to get you going, to reach your goals, and that is going to give you great hope because I felt like you've been a little foggy lately where you haven't been able to see things clearly. 
and that's why you probably been losing a little hope or feeling a little bleh <laughs> bleh <laughs> so we have the world reversed so this is something that's incomplete something that has not completed yet or has come a full circle so like i said with this here see progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved it will be achieved but right now you got to keep going it's not done just yet you're almost there okay so do not lose hope Okay, you will soon have that clarity and the hope that keeps you going. Then we have the Eight of Cups with, yeah, the Eight of Cups. With the Eight of Cups, this is like really walking away or turning your back from people or things that no longer serve you. Um, it's whatever the people you're around, are they being positive? Are they helping you move forward with the things that you want to accomplish or are they setting you back? Are they draining you of your energy, of your time? Ask yourself those things. Whatever's not working out for you, walk away from it. And then we have the Ten of Ghost, which is the Ten of Cups, okay? I feel like as soon as you complete something and you have that clarity and you're able to accomplish it, you will be so happy that you did not give up. Because with the Ten of Ghosts here, the Ten of Cups, it's like a emotional fulfillment being so happy that with the way things are that you push yourself that you didn't give up yes hope can get lost but it can always be restored quickly so you're going to be so happy that you did not give up you see that moon smiling yeah they know within your subconscious mind your emotions you know spirit knows what you want and they're going to make sure that you do not you know get off that path okay the oracle card that we that I pulled for you, I keep saying we. What do I keep saying we? <laughs> that I, okay, when I say we, I meant me, spirit, and universe. How about that? <laughs> Is uh, the vampire card, okay? So with the vampire card, this is talking about emotional intelligence. The emotional intelligence card talks about who, who do you surround yourself with that uh, lifts you up energetically who do you surround yourself with that sucks you of your energy your time and your energy so you got to think about those things um are the things that you're doing bringing you positivity are they giving you um energy are they giving you the balance that you need to move forward in a positive way or are those things draining you are they sucking the soul out of you? It could be people. It could be lovers. It could be co-workers. It, it could be fucking kids. It could be anything. What This is really talking about energy. The energies around you. The energies within yourself. The people. The jobs. It could be whatever it is that, you know, that you're dealing with. If it's sucking you of your energy and your time, eight of cups. Okay? Walk away from it. If it's uplifting you and it's giving you clarity and hope, keep it. Stick around with that. Those are the things you got to look at this upcoming week, okay? Alrighty, Water Signs. This was your weekly message for October. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in your next videos. Bye, guys.